All right, San Diego Police Chief David Nislight is just five months away from retiring. Council member Marnie Von Wilpert is here with how you can help select his replacement. Marnie, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, I wanted to talk about last night you had one of these meetings. There are several in all the district. How did it go and what do people have to say? Yeah, so last night's meeting was in my colleague's district, Council Varel Campillo, and I heard the meeting went great. Tonight we're having our meeting yep. in District 5, which is in Scripps Ranch, at the Scripps Ranch Miramar Library from 5 to 7 p.m. We'd love for everyone to come out. Uh, you know, the police chief's job is enormous here in San Diego. The police chief has to oversee a department of 1,800 sworn police officers, over 600 civilian employees, and in 2022 alone, they responded to over 750,000 911 response calls. Wow. So it's a huge job. Protecting our city is my top priority as the public safety chair for the city council. And we want to hear from the public. Why are the public's opinions? You know, a lot of people may look at meetings and say, oh, it's a meeting. Nobody's listening to us and, you know, just come over there and talk. But why is this important for you to hear what the public is saying? You know, we really want to focus more on bringing back community oriented policing. And that's something that we want to make sure everyone in their neighborhood knows who their police officers are, where their substation is, so that they feel comfortable and safe and, and trust with their officers. So that's why we want to hear from the public to get everyone's input on what kind of officers you want to lead this incredibly important department in our city. There's so many ways people can participate, in-person meetings, there's an online survey we're asking individuals to fill out to give us information. Uh, people can go to sandiego.gov slash next police chief to find all the information, the online survey, the dates and times of the community meetings, and we'd really love to hear from them. You, you had this meeting, you said there's another one, and we have the information up on our screen, and we'll get it up on our website as well, um, on foxfysandiego.com, if you don't have time to write this down so you know where to go. <laughs> uh, but how many more meetings will be left after this? I think there's about three or four more meetings left after okay. this, and uh, then there are members of the community who have volunteered to be a part of a community panel to do interviews for the finalists. And then in March, the mayor is hoping to propose a final candidate to the city council for us to vote to confirm that nominee. So look by March and hopefully by June of this year, we will have a new police chief installed. There are a lot of cynics out there who say this is just a dog and pony show. You guys know who you want. Uh, our opinion doesn't matter. Those people are out there. How do you address those concerns that people say, this doesn't really count what I say when I go to these meetings? It does count. Uh, there is no finalist selected at this point. There are lots of applications so far, and so we really need the public to give us input. You know, I, I want to hear from the public as the public safety chair. What do you want to see in your next police chief and your administration? And, and I can't make good decisions if I don't hear from the public. So I tell people, please get involved. We do, we're opening the doors to City Hall for people to tell us what they think, mm. and we'd love their participation. And in the meeting you had yesterday, did anybody speak? I was not at the meeting you yesterday, it was my colleague's meeting. Tonight is the meeting that I'm going to that be at for my district. Be, yeah. Did you hear any feedback from what people were hearing or what people are telling you that they want in the police chief? You know, right now, we're still collecting information, so I haven't seen the online survey yet at this point. I do know people want to feel heard and they want transparency in the police department, which is incredibly important for building trust among the community. They want someone who's responsive to all members of San Diego and will listen to all concerns. And so that's something I'm very interested in. I am very interested in promoting diversity, equity, and inclusion in our police department, making sure that we hire enough you know, women officers as well as men. One of the things we've done in San Diego to recruit more women, for example, is open the very first daycare center for police officers in the nation. So now working mothers and working fathers are able to have a safe place to have their children if they get a 911 call in the middle of the night and have to go on duty. Yeah, that is, that, that's, that's been a big deal. I, uh, lastly, I wanted to ask you because we had uh, Chief Nislight here mm -hmm. and he was talking about just the, the history of the police chiefs. Uh, do you get an outsider to come in with fresh eyes for the city and the department? Uh, or do you keep with a department veteran to keep some sort of continuity? Um, how do you weigh w what's more important in terms of moving forward with the San Diego Police Department? Get a new person or get somebody who knows the system, if you will? I think it'll depend on each candidate's qualifications. If we have a stellar candidate from outside the city who has fresh ideas, who understands the city, who's also run a big city police department. You know, we are the eighth largest city in the country. It's not an easy task. 
However, if we have someone internal who has risen through the ranks, who understands what needs to be done to run this huge administration, and is a great candidate there yeah. and can build morale, that would be wonderful too. So it'll come down to each candidate's qualification, motivation for the job, and how well they address the community concerns that we're trying to take in from the public. Our last three chiefs have been veterans of the San Diego Police Department, so we'll see what happens. Let's get the information uh, up one more time so people know every district has one of these meetings. You want to voice your opinion? This is your chance. Council District 5 Community Forum is happening at Scripps Miramar Ranch Library. It will be co-hosted by our guest, Council Member Vaughn Wilper, tonight 5 to 7. Uh, we thank you for being here. Yeah, we'll keep you. track of what's going on. We hope to see you again soon. Thank you I'd so much. I'd love to be here. Thank you for thank having you. me. <laughs>